for the Out of Bounds project, we are going to take a photo and we are purposely going to create a frame and leave part of the photo outside that frame and it kind of gives it a 3D effect. So here's my example. So we are going to start with the actual picture. So you can just open up your image right inside of Photo P. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to add a layer. So we are going to go to Layer, New, and Layer. And we have a layer on top of our background. It should come in transparent, and you can tell that by the checkerboard. Okay, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to create our frame. So we are going to use the Rectangle Select tool for that, so directly underneath the Move tool. And then when you draw your selection, you want to purposely leave part of your photo outside of the picture. Once you have your selection made, we are going to go to Edit, Stroke, and depending on the size of your picture, you might have to fool with this a little bit but I'm going to make my size 70. Outside is fine. I'm going to choose black and I'm going to say OK. At this point you should now have your frame. It is on a separate layer so if you need, need to move it you can use your move tool. You should be able to move it. If you're having trouble remember control and D will deselect your rectangle that we made. The next thing I'm going to have you do is distort your frame a little bit. So we are going to go to Edit, Transform, and choose Distort. And I am just going to put my frame at an angle. It will look less staged. And then check mark it. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to use the eraser tool and it's underneath the clone stamp tool about halfway down. And we are going to erase just the frame where it crosses over what we want to leave outside of the frame. Okay, the eraser tool works much like the brush tool where you have this size, this circle. Remember bracket keys the square bracket keys to the right of the letter P on your keyboard will make your brush size larger, left will make it smaller, right will make it larger. So you, that's important. You might want to make it so that it doesn't, we are only erasing, like I said, the black where we want to leave the picture outside. And I would just do little short erases and then let go of your mouse just in case you want to undo then you're just undoing that very last thing you did. Okay, so after you do that, and you'll probably have to do a little bit more than I did, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to erase on the background layer. So you need to click on your background layer. We are going to use the eraser tool, or you can select chunks of it, the background, and then use your backspace key like we've been doing in the past. But the eraser tool will work as well and we are going to erase everything outside of the frame with the exception of what you purposely left outside the frame. So for the sake of having a quick video, again, do little short pieces. So therefore, if I want to undo, I'm just undoing that short piece or that little piece. Okay, so basically everything outside the frame, after you've worked on it for a little while, the very last step is, and again, we need to have everything outside the frame, and I'm running out of time here. The last thing that we are going to do is we are going to fill that background with white. So make sure your foreground color or your color box is white, and then find your paint bucket tool and just fill it with white. Okay, so I wanted to get done in five minutes. Um, obviously, you need to work on yours.